The football team has clearly bragged a lot about the community support through the season, and today a lot of love was shown for this team. Nick Starling, who I mentioned a moment ago, probably got a bunk somewhere on the campus. <laughs> First of all, thank you for being there all week. You were there, though, this morning for the send-off and the excitement. Take us inside all of that. Hey, Doug, yeah, I live here now. I'm running out of words to describe excited, maybe jubilation for these fans as they send off the team and style, hoping for a victory. Horn Frog Frenzy is at a fever pitch as hundreds of fans flooded West Canty Street. It's just such an incredible so thing, exciting. probably something that we will never see again in our lifetime, although I would love to. Among the crowd, creative signs expressing support for the Frogs' unforgettable season. I threw it together and it's just, just something that's from heart and it's uh, bring home the ship, you know, bring the ship home, a championship. The Fort Worth Fire Department hoisted up a large TCU flag which inevitably became a place for fans to capture this moment. Yeah, definitely going to be a memory that lasts a lifetime. Players and coaches gave a few fist bumps before boarding the five buses and rolling out, flanked by a sea of purple. It was really awesome to be able to cheer them on. Go Frogs! This, but I'm just excited for their success. Oh, it was emotional. I had tears in my eyes. This is a big deal. This is big for the city, and it's just we're proud of, we're proud of them. These frog fans felt it was their duty to be here in person to show their support directly to the players and coaches. They're seeing hundreds, if not thousands, of, of purple along the along the street going up to the airport. How cool is that? This is the last thing they're seeing of, of, of their campus when they leave. This is their home, and and uh, this is what they take with them when they lay their heads down at night out there. So. Of course, those fans looking for a Hollywood ending, bringing that championship trophy here to Fort Worth and TCU's campus. Live at TCU, Nick Starling, CBS 11 News. All right, Nick, something tells me I'm going to see you on Monday because we'll probably all be out there together. A uh, reminder, TCU is going to be hosting the national championship watch party. If you're among those staying here at home, you can't travel to Southern Cal. We're with you. We're, we're going to be here, too. We're going to see the game in person. You want some stadium energy? Well, this party is going to be at Schollmeyer uh, Arena, where the TCU basketball games are played on campus. You can watch the showdown against Georgia on the big screen, be in kind of this stadium environment. Doors are going to open at 5.30. Game starts at 6.30 on Monday night. So as a result, we're just going to bring CBS 11 on the road. We're going to go out there with you. 6 p.m. newscast live on the road inside Schollmeyer Monday night. So come and join us for a good, good time.